just turned this on with my new remote. Well, it's not new, but the battery was dead in this for a really long time and I was having to get up and hit record on the camera, which was super annoying. The crazy part is I've had that remote since I started my YouTube channel, what, like six, seven years ago, and I have actually never changed the battery until today. So that's, that, that's a pretty damn good battery. My hair is a hot mess today. As you can see, I'm actually getting these guys removed in the next couple days. I have hand tied extensions, but I did a few of these cause like otherwise this hair just like never grows and I have a mullet. Anyways, they show a lot, so I'm getting those removed. So ignore those during this video. But um, if you guys have followed me on Instagram or even here, I guess, I often have my hair waved. I love it. I think it's just so pretty and I just love the way that it looks. So I was, poking around on Instagram and came across a brand called Mermaid Hair. And they're from Australia and they have waivers, they have clips, they have, uh, we're gonna use this today, it's the Mermaid Mist Heat Styling Spray. So they basically have everything to make your wavy hair dreams come true. And they are pink. Look how cute this is. Let me take the bag off, probably be a little cuter. It's nice and pink. It's super, super cute. This one is the 32 millimeter. So this is the larger barrel. And then they also have a 25 millimeter. Um, no, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send this to me. Thank you for this. I am so excited to try this. You can also control the temperature. Oh, right there. <laughs> so I'd like to see how this works on my hair. Um, I've used the Bondi, what is it? Bondi Boost, I think, brand waiver. And I do like the results I get, but I realize that I, it feels like I have to leave it on my hair for longer, no matter what the temp is at, to get it to kind of where I need it to be for like long lasting. Like I just noticed that like I have to leave it on my hair section longer than any other one that I've ever used. And then I have another one in Nashville that I talked to you guys about in a previous video, but you cannot control the temperature. And when you have um, compromised, damaged hair like mine, you can't really afford to be putting like super, super high heat on your hair, especially like daily or every other day. Thankfully, I'm at home pretty much all the time and I rarely wear makeup and I pretty much never do my hair and I always look like Oscar the Grouch. So I don't put that much heat on my hair, but when I do, I always, always, always protect it. I'm gonna use the RN Co two-way mirror. This is just like some oil. Um, I'm gonna just put this on my ends just because I haven't for a while. And oh, it smells so good, smell that. Oh my gosh, does that just not smell like heaven or what? It smells like I would want every shampoo and conditioner to smell like that I own. Like that smells just so bomb. We're gonna do the heat spray. This says Mermaid Mist is the all-in-one heat styling spray to cre create glossy waves, curls, and crimps that last for days. Okay, direction. Shake well before use, mist over each section of hair before styling. So I don't, I think we should go section by section. So I split my hair in half. I'm, I'm curious how this is gonna work. Like I hope, like I have high hopes for this brand. Like I love their packaging, their branding, their, um, Instagram is super freaking cute. Oh, and I didn't tell you the, pr look at that one like darker piece right there. Like, excuse me, what the shit are you doing? But it's $69, <laughs> love that price. And pretty affordable compared to some of the ones that are out there, you know? Like if you go too cheap with some styling stuff, it's just not, it's, it's no bueno, but sometimes you can. But I found with waivers, it's, it's better to spend a little bit of money and get something that's a little bit better and that has auto shut off and you can control the temp. It's kind of a heavy spray. It's not really like a mist. It smells like cough syrup. I really am not a fan of the way that smells. Are like, are you supposed to wait for the heat spray to like dry though? Cause like, I feel like you should, but also it comes out thick and it tells you to do it on each section before you wave it. So I don't really know. 
guess we're gonna find out. Okay, that's about how long I would normally hold it. Okay, maybe, maybe I wasn't supposed to put it on there when it was still wet. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, that sucked, but I'm pretty sure that was my fault. I feel like you're supposed to let this dry. So I'm gonna put this all over this side and let it dry out before I get around to it because I'm pretty sure it needs to be dry. Maybe this needs to be a little bit hotter too. Let's try, let's try 310. I think I usually do like 310, 350, so. Come on, baby. Damn you. This is working much better. So yeah, that's fucking mermaid-licious. Uh, so yeah, you need, you need to not put it on there when it's wet. I mean, I guess I probably should have figured that one out. It's not rocket science. I keep getting whiffs of the heat spray and like, I don't know how to describe how it smells. Like it just kind of, look how ratty, ratty this looks. <laughs> I probably need to take a shower and wash my hair. Um, it kind of smells like gumballs. I don't, I don't know. Um, I feel like that's like the best way that I can describe it. So like, if you like that, then I think you'd really like it. I'm just kind of picky on smells. Like I hate stuff that smells like food for the most part. Like I, a lot of people love like sugar cookie and that one's actually okay, but like lemon and like vanilla candles or like just fucking apple pie candles. And I'm like, Ugh. like I don't want any cinnamon candles. I don't want any freaking gingerbread. Like keep all that shit to yourself. I don't want it. Oh my gosh, why did I wear a long sleeve shirt? This is curling really, really well. And sometimes, I think because, I don't know if you can see, but see how the metal is kind of flipped up right here, like on the edges? I feel like that is one of the reasons why I'm not getting any of those harsh lines that sometimes I get with my other waivers, because it's that really soft flip up, there's no like harsh edge, and I've actually never seen that on a waiver, and I'm just now kind of like appreciating the shit out of that. Hi, Piper. Hi, little baby girl. Hi. She's like trying to figure out how to get to me through all the camera equipment. I ended up adding a little bit of the R&Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo into the hair because it was looking like a little greasy on top for me. So that definitely took a bit of it out. And honestly, I should have washed the top of my hair before I started this video. Um, I was just being lazy. So I'm paying the benefit. I'm, I'm, I was just being lazy. So I'm actually paying for it now because the top looks absolutely terrible. Um, so ignore the top part of my hair. I also did a little bit of the R and Co dry volume spray. This stuff smells so freaking good. R and Co sent me like a really big package, which they never have before. So I was very excited about, um, and this stuff, oh my gosh, it smells so good. When I'm brushing through this, once it's cooled, I like to use a, like a wide toothed like comb like this. So it pieces it apart without like totally brushing it out. Cause a normal brush will just like make this frizzy for some people and other people it'll just like kind of like pull out the wave. Oh my gosh, there's a straight one. Let me do that. So yeah, um, typically waivers do better when you have like freshly washed, you know, like straight hair. I kind of went at this a little backwards because I didn't realize the top of my hair was as dirty as it was because I feel like I just washed it, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> the way that this waved, I think it turned out really good. I also set the waver to 320 about halfway through because it was taking a little too long to wave. Um, and overall, I think this is awesome. I mean, this was $69. Some other ones, like the Amica one is great, but it's like, I think it's like 250 bucks. So if you can buy essentially exactly the same thing, but only spend $69 and it's pink, I mean, you do the math. 
Okay, I'm off to go wash the top of my hair <laughs> right now, um, but I am pretty stoked on this. I think it worked really well and I'll definitely be using this as my go-to waiver now uh, at $69, auto shut off, temperature control, we, it's got it all. So I think this is awesome. I'm gonna link you guys to this product and their website in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.